The stage is set and the glittering prize awaits one of these two teams. But which one in the 2022 FIFA World Cup final? Stay with us for every kick of the ball right here on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Portugal against Morocco. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Joao Cancelo starts with Rafael Guerrero as fullbacks. Bernardo Silva plays alongside Ruben Neves in the centre of midfield. And the starting role in attack is handed to Cristiano Ronaldo. And here's how Morocco will line up. Yassine Bounou is the goalkeeper. Hakim Ziyech plays with Sofiane Bouffal in the wide positions. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And now they get the ball rolling. Really well played pass. Ziyech. On to Hakimi. It might be on for them. Ziyech. Bufal. And can they make one of these passes count? Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. This might have potential. Well, no problems defensively. Well, the outcome is a free kick here. <laughs> and Bernardo Silva has it. What a powerful effort, but just wide. Well, it's been a long and winding road to the final for Portugal. It's worth remembering that they finished second in the qualifying group. They had to go through playoff matches against Turkey and North Macedonia just to get to the 2022 finals. And this past month has been challenging as well, but they're here 
and they have a well-earned track record as winners. Well, you're absolutely right, but I think they've got better and better as the tournament has worn on. They've got a great understanding of what's required of each player on the pitch. They're good tactically, they've been fit, and I think they've got every chance of being the world champions here, but they're going to have to play well. Yusuf and Nesiri. Sofian Bufal. Chance to cross. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. I just couldn't play that decisive ball. Cristiano Ronaldo. Return to Cancelo. Sloppy there, Bernardo Silva. Well, the referee can't take any chances. And now he will receive attention. Following that stoppage, the referee will restart the game with a drop ball. Sofian Amrabat. Ziyech. Yusuf N. Nesiri. And an astute piece of defending. Bruno Fernandes. Cancelo, on to Bruno Fernandes, can he get them in front, full credit, wonderful stop. Yaiha Jabran. And it's with Amrabat. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Cristiano Ronaldo. And they need to get tighter here. Let's get the latest on the injury situation from our pitch side man, Jeff Shreves. He landed really heavily on his shoulder there. You can see the discomfort. He's begging to be put away. Oh, he's missed it. And he's going to be angry with himself. Well, he has to do better there. He had so much of the goal to aim for. It's a poor miss. Nesiri gets it a go. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. <laughs> and short it is. Unahi. Jawad El Yamik. Surely! Really sound goalkeeping. Well, that had to be a goal, didn't it? What a stop that is. <laughs> Delivering it. Oh, tremendous work from the keeper to avert the danger. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game.
And so the battle commences. And so the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, whatever you can do, I can do just as well. Yaiha Jabran. Yusuf and Nesiri. And the attack looks promising. Bufal. He's very adept at protecting the ball. And fine goalkeeping. Let's see about the delivery. And it wasn't taxing for the keeper. And that's an important intervention. Unahi. Plenty of support here, but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. That is how to apply the pressure. Can they hit on the break? And they stopped them in their tracks. He has time to play it over. Ronaldo. Can they nudge in front? And the keeper there to deal with it. They fancy a short one. Bernardo Silva. Well, as he hit that one, it looked as though it had a chance. Well, you can't argue with those stats, can you? We've had good chances at both ends. The game is being played with great intensity and it's been a pleasure to watch. Yusuf and Nesiri. Can he finish? And not cleared away properly. Is it going to be? Finally gathered by the keeper. Well, that's a really good recovery. He had to be smart there. Otavio. Ruben Neves. Guerrero. The ball with Ottavio. Cancelo. On to Bruno Fernandes. Well, it looks highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Well, that is how to break up a counter-attack. Guerrero. And he's in. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance, and I have to say, the finish is just brilliant from Bernardo Silva. He's such a good technician. It's a wonderful goal. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. And out for a throw-in, just misfiring with the pass. Here it is now, a substitution. <laughs> Teammates available. Joao Felix. Is this the moment? And that is defending of the highest order.
10 minutes to go. Options in the middle. And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. And it is substitution time at this juncture. Not just from one side, but from both. Bruno Fernandes. Poor pass under no real pressure. Well, with five minutes remaining and just one goal between them, still the prospect of late excitement in this match. On the ball in an attacking position, but they've got to do something positive quickly. Sofiane Buffal. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. He takes aim. Oh, a goal to level it up in the closing stages. Who's going to claim the trophy? It's an open question here. So back underway, one goal apiece here. Cristiano Ronaldo, in with a chance. Well, he might be expelled from the game. And following the infringement, a caution. Yeah, no surprise there. That was always going to be a booking. Long way out. Oh, he really bruised the crossbar. And problem solved for now. They cannot be separated here, and it's on to extra time. Well, back underway here, and it's quite simple. Both teams must steal themselves for 30 extra minutes. And with tackling like that, the onus is on the referee to take action, potentially. And a yellow card, it's going to be Stewart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long. Bruno Fernandes. Oh, he's really opened them up here. It might be the moment to get them ahead. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Short corner favoured. Bernardo Silva. Gonna get a try. Always going to be the goalkeeper's ball. Illegal play and hence a free kick.
A sloppy pass. And the emphasis is on creativity. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Joao Cancelo. Well, that's a super ball over the top. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Oh, good vision, and just has to remain calm. It's gone in, and well, he might celebrate on the back of that. Well, here it is again, and you have to say the one-two completely opens up the defensive structure. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. First period of extra time completed. 15 minutes left, and then it's a penalty shootout. Well, the drama continues to unfold. Second period of extra time now. Andres Silva. Well, visionary passing. Well, the bar can be the goalkeeper's best friend. Well, the keeper can breathe a big sigh of relief. Well, he can. That was so unlucky. How close was that? Well, for a second, I thought that was going to seal it. Still enough time for an equaliser here, though. Yes, in possession again, and maybe another opportunity developing here. Now oh, there to intercept. Leal. Andres Silva. Now with Cancelo. In with a chance. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. So back underway, 3-1 the score. Ruben Neves. Chances on. Oh dear, oh dear. The goal was at his mercy. Tame effort. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. And he's in. And that's the hat trick. Tearing apart this defence time and again. They simply can't handle him. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. And now it's all over! We've witnessed 
history. Portugal have won the World Cup for the first time. Well, they've been kings of Europe. Now they're kings of the world. And I have to say, Derek, they fully deserved it. They were great today. Portugal, the world champions. And this is finally Portugal's time. Fully deserved. Best team in the world. Well, you have to give credit to the coach. He's been excellent, but so too the players and these fans. It's absolutely magnificent for them.